Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install and use PowerCLI on VMware. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is Power actually CLI? So Power CLI is a set of commands or what we call commandlets based on the PowerShell framework that allows us to manage and automate vSphere okay so here in this video I'm going to show you how to install them and use some basic syntax in order to manage our VMware hosts so let's begin so first thing you need to launch your uh, Windows PowerShell command prompt as an administrator as you can see here okay then of course we have to install this model for VMware PowerCLI. So the command is pretty simple. Install dash model. Okay. And then we give it a name. So the name here is VMware dot PowerCLI. Here we go. So let's uh, execute this command and see what we get. So here you can see that uh, the install process has begun. Okay, now the process of installing uh, VMware PowerCLL has been completed. We can, of course, uh, check that by actually checking the VMware PowerCL, PowerCLI model version using this command. Okay, so let's execute it. So here you can see that I'm using the latest version which is 13 okay so now we can start using some basic commands for power CLI okay so first thing first we have of course to connect to our VM host okay so in order to connect to our VM host we use this command here okay connect VI server dash server and here we have to provide the IP address of our uh, for example ESXi host so in my case it's 192.168.1.122 okay Here we go, here we have to provide our credentials. So I'll log on using the root. And here my password. I guess I did it wrong. So let's launch it once again. Maybe I entered the wrong password. Actually here, as you can see, the message is related to my uh, server certificate, which is invalid. But we can bypass that using another command. Okay. So this is the command in order to bypass the invalid certification. Here we go. Now we can start again. So now you can see that I'm connected. Okay. 
so now we can run our basic uh, power cli commands so the first command that we can execute is to retrieve some uh, host information okay and this command will be get vm host so let's execute it and here we have some info about our host actually so we have the name we have how many memory usage and also number of cpus and cpu usage okay also and the version here i'm running it's 7.0.3 okay so this is the first uh, basic command we can also get some information about uh, our vms that are present in this host so using the command get vms you can see here the name or all the different uh, vm present in my host and also the state of them the number of cpus and how many memory that i are using so here you can see that i have only one powered on uh, vm which is centos machine and all the others are powered off okay we can of course retrieve specific information about a particular host so let's for example get info about this vm here which called centos uh, 8 okay so in order to get information about a particular uh, vm we use the same commandlet get vm dash name and here we provide the name which is in this case send os 8 we use in the format list in order to get a bunch of information okay Here we go so you can see now that i have a bunch of information about this particular vm you have of course here uh, the name the power state so as i told you it's powered on and it's running uh, actually a pyhole server so this is the note that i have written okay we have also the vm host and also some information about the memory the cpu and uh, some custom field and of course the id of this virtual machine okay we can also start or stop a particular vm so for the first command you can see here that they have a bunch of uh, actually uh, vm that are part of we can try to start one of them so for example let me start this this arch linux so the command for that it's pretty simple start vm but here we have to provide uh, the vm name okay so here dash vm and here let me uh, out output the vm name so in this case it's arch linux here we go so now you can see the arch linux vm has been started it's gave me information about state of course it's powered on number of cpus and the memory of course how many memory it has used so in this case it's two gigabytes we can also stop it so as you guessed it the command will be stop vm and of course we have also to provide the vm name here we go so here is give me a confirm message are you sure you want to perform this action so of course we answer by yes and as you can see the state has been actually turned to a powered off okay so all of these commands are pretty simple to guess they are pretty intuitive okay 
so of course we can do a lot of things using this commandlet okay we can of course create vm if we want using this command here new vm here we have to provide vm name and also in which host you want to create this vm we can destroy them we can move vms we can create snapshot delete snapshot and restore from snapshot so power CLI is a very very powerful tool we can also use script with it but in this video i wanted just to show you show you how to install it and how to run some basic basic commandlets for power cli okay and finally i wanted just to show you how to get help for a particular command okay so if you don't know how to use the syntax of this uh, power cli commands you can use get help commandlets okay and here you provide your command let for power cli to get help for so for example uh, start vm here is just prompting me do you want to run help update so we can uh, use yes why not Okay, so here you can see that I've got the help for the start VM commandlet. So this commandlet power on a virtual machine, we get syntax, we have related links and so on. There is also full version of that. So if you want, for example, to get examples of this, how to use this command, you can use dash full. Okay. And here you get a bunch a bunch of information about this command okay so all the syntax and so on okay so that was just uh, a brief introduction to how to install and use power cli framework on vmware as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye